Ferrari's strategy came under mass questioning again during the British Grand Prix. Despite Carlos Sainz's victory, Charles Leclerc wasn't happy with Ferrari after the British Grand Prix, despite teammate Carlos Sainz earning his first ever F1 victory at Silverstone. Ferrari boss Mattia Bonato was spotted dressing down Leclerc before he publicly unleashed his frustrations about the race. Esteban Ocon stopping on the track prompted a safety car, which left 11 laps of racing and set up an exhilarating finale. While Ferrari called in Sainz, who was joined by Lewis Hamilton and Sergio Perez, Leclerc, leading the race at the time, stayed on track, ultimately costing him the win. On the first straight after the restart, Sainz overtook his teammate and eventually cruised to victory. Leclerc was stuck in a thrilling battle for second with Perez and Hamilton, which the Mexican Red Bull star won. And after being well positioned to claim his third win of the 2022 season, Leclerc could only finish fourth, as a lack of grip saw him lose his podium place to the hometown hero Hamilton. In a post-race interview, the Monegasque driver expressed his frustrations with what could have been for Ferrari on what was ultimately a mixed day for the team. He said, the amount of race time we have lost in this race is, oh my god. The only good thing today is that Carlos won. But freaking hell. Guys. Enjoy the victory. Sky Sports commentators David Croft and Martin Brundle were on hand to react to Bonato's conversation with Leclerc. Croft said, that's Bonato saying whatever you do, do not criticize the team. And Brundle added, that was definitely a finger wagging, wasn't it? In a separate interview with Channel 4, Leclerc was tight-lipped about what Ferrari boss Bonato passionately addressed him about after the race. However, if the 24-year-old is to be believed, he was simply trying to boost his morale after a frustrating day. Well, obviously, he wanted to cheer me up. And that's it, Leclerc claimed. When asked about his thoughts on the race, Leclerc admitted he felt he lost a bit of time through Ferrari's confusing strategy of splitting their prioritized driver. But he said he was open to changing his mind after a debrief, where he hopes to see the bigger picture. He told C4, I will have to look at the global picture. Now on my side, I only have my picture of my race, and obviously, in the race, sometimes in the car, you don't have the full picture. On my side, I feel like I've lost a little bit too much time in the first stint, especially, and in the first part of the second stint. But this is only my view, and it might change once I see the full picture.
Peace.